And here we are back again with another beautiful Fan Works Fridays, where today we're taking a look at, once again, a lot more Dead Rising fan fiction. Now, for those of you who don't know, Fan Works Fridays is basically just an opportunity for me to look at some cool fan art, uh, fan fiction, and any other kind of fan works that might come up in the here to now future, and just be able to share that with you guys and just have a really chill time doing it. It's mainly a stream of consciousness kind of show, except for the fan fiction part. That's usually just me reading and reacting. But for the most part, with fan art, it's a lot of stream of consciousness about what I just feel about the series or the thing I happen to be looking at. In this case, it's Dead Rising, which, if you remember from the last time we were looking at fan art, I may have told you that it's a very important series to me. It's one of the first, like, mature series I ever got into whenever I was younger. So it holds a special kind of place into my heart. So now we are on DeviantArt, only the best website for looking at fan art, to check out what they have to provide in the world of Dead Rising. And right off the bat, I see a really cool one for Dead Rising 2. Of all of our important characters with Chuck, Katie, Stacy, Rebecca, I'm not going to lie, I had to cheat and use the, uh, the tagline, the caption, there we go. TK, the main man, the and Sullivan. Can I just say right off the bat that that Sullivan boss fight was ridiculous? Like, I mean, r just straight up ridiculous. Like, you had to mono e mono fight the man on top of, like, a platform while the military call down airstrikes onto you. It it doesn't... I think that's the second biggest that a Dead Rising game has ever made a boss fight. The second biggest only sank it to Dead Rising 2 off the record, where you had to fight a giant spider mech. Which, Dead Rising 2 off the record is probably, like, my favorite Dead Rising game, because it, it goes along with Dead Rising 2, taking the formula from the original game and kind of improving upon it, in my opinion, and taking it to the nth degree. That might not be the, uh, might not be what everyone else is saying, but it's what I'm saying. Anyways, I like this art. I like this style. You did good, Card Queen. You did good, and I love it. And then another good one with the main man, Frank West, doing the infamous zombie walk while dual wielding a katana and a shotgun. Not canon. You cannot do that. But I like seeing him do it. That would be a cool mechanic to add in. Maybe in Dead Rising 5. <laughs> if that ever comes. Dead Rising 4 was a train wreck. I'm not sure that this is... I wouldn't get that that's Rebecca Chang, like right off the uh right off the bat the hair looks a little too red though i can see where it's kind of dark and where the red outlining is more just shading but it could uh come off as a bit this leading to kind of paint this off as like reddish hair granted this could be like i could see this being like a younger rebecca chang like when she was more like a teenager so maybe she did have like a little red tint in her hair because she like put some dye in it or something or something like that Good artwork, though a little, I, I wouldn't, like, if I saw this right off the bat, I wouldn't be able to say if it was Rebecca Chang or not. But I uh, who am I to judge? I like it anyway. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> I think I've seen this before, because I remember the uh, background joke from somewhere. I just can't tell you where right now, though. Maybe just general internet usage. Who knows? You see, now that kind of looks like Nick. Now it's uh, saying Dead Rising on the 360, so that's Dead Ri That's Frank West, the main man. But it looks an awful lot like Nick, but if Nick were wearing glasses. And I love Nick. Good job, Alex Al Alexander. Alexander. Good job, Alexander Shin. You killed it. There we go. Classic. Frank West wearing the serve bot mask. Classic. I love it. Oh, and they even have like a little, uh... 
I almost said discography, but that would be incorrect. They um they have a little, little listing of uh, Capcom games that uh that Capcom has done. I don't know if that's all of them. I feel like the I feel like there might be a few more. Like I feel like didn't they work on the other uh, Devil May Cry's as well? Or maybe they didn't. But uh, either way, happy anniversary, Capcom, from a while ago. What will you do? I'm seeing a whole series of, like, fights to the death with Isabella and uh, Jesse from Dead Rising 1. Is this, like, a series? Is there, like, is there, like, more to this? There is, but let me try to, like, kind of bring it all together. Okay, so we got one. Is this just Jesse going to be, like, wailing into her okay so we got one uh where's two where's two where's two where's two two wow they're really uh accentuating some features there uh three okay isabella finally getting something back i've only been seeing jesse jesse kill it since then so this is good it's more of an even fight uh four Two, five, where's four? Is this four? No, this is four. All right, oh, she's she's got a knife. She's got a knife and a couple of airbags on her. And five, and we got five. Oh, I feel like we were missing something going from four to five. Like, where'd she get that syringe? Boop. Whatever. Art is subjective. And now she seems to be losing it. I don't know how Jesse got all the way over there, though. They seemed pretty close before. Okay, let's see. Where is seven? Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven. And then here we are. And then we're gonna do a full grapple. Is this just this? Is this just the same? No, it's different, and it's gotta be because it's a whole different universe and a whole different characters. But eh, I'm gonna get out of this rabbit hole before I get in too deep. And officially, oh, there's seven. But I was already at seven. Well, that was weird. Sorry about that. I just got too deep into a rabbit hole. This pony thing again. It seems like the more inappropriate of the series for it to be ponyfied, the more likely it is to be ponyfied. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I But I do see ponification in a lot of fandoms. So it's a popular thing. I would kill for a Lego Dead Rising set. I would I would kill for a Lego Dead Rising set. I'm almost not kidding. <laughs> What? This is a little odd. Like, a I don't know about that one. I don't like that. It's a little weird. More Wapping Goblin, because the Wap Goblin is not immune to any one specific website or any specific brand of fan art. The Wap Goblin is forever. Whap. Now you see here we have Deep Rising which is layers and layers more terrifying than anything Dead Rising has ever put out. I'm gonna get out of here because I see a lot of other creepy stuff over here and we're gonna get into that later or maybe never. I haven't decided yet except I have. We're, we're not talking about this anymore. More ponification. Applejack green. Oh. 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 Oh, it's psychopath Chuck Green. That's that's good. That's clever. That's a that's a clever thing you did there. Why is why is Rebecca Chang like this? Guys. Come on. 
So I found a Simpsons-ified Shaun of the Dead fan art here in the Dead Rising realm of DeviantArt. There's something meta about that, but I can't quite tell you what. I'm going to think on this a lot more later, but for right now, we have to find more delicious and nutritious fan art if my mouse will cooperate with me, which is unlikely at best. That's a very intense Chuck Green. Like, that looks like a Chuck Green after Katie dies in the Darkest Universe, which is Dead Rising 2 off the record. Like, this is right after that. Right before he slaps those two of them big battle chainsaws onto a motorcycle and just starts going crazy. Oh, hey, look at that. It's everyone's favorite psychopath. Kent. With his three-day-long mission that isn't cumbersome at all. Nope. Not at all. Perfectly reasonable. <laughs> Going back to it. Oh, I accidentally clicked on the someone's page. Ah, geez. How far, how far back did I go? Not too far. Good. Okay. I will say this, though, about uh, Kent's Kent's psychopath, psychopath mission in Dead Rising 1. Very clever and innovative for such, early, for such an early installment in the series. Like, you don't ever see this kind of idea again. Like, you don't actually ever see the idea of, again of meeting someone at the beginning of the time frame and then having to continuously do stuff for them all the way through the rest of the game until you get to the end point where you have to finish off the encounter one way or the other. And in another case, in a, in a hypothetical case, this wouldn't have to be uh, ending in a psychopath fight. That's just how it went for Kent because he's just a little unhinged. It could go in a different way. I don't recall that ever being a factor in another Dead Rising game, and that's a shame because I feel like you could pull off some really decent story ideas if you went along with that. Because I liked how... It went along for the entirety of the game. And I liked that how at the end point, if you waited too long to go there, it changed the outcome of what happened. Because if you go there uh, right before I believe it either turns red or if it gets too far into yellow, you'll have like the normal psychopath fight with him where you can save the survivor he has tied up. If you get there too late, he's already performed his experiment with the survivor, he knocks you out, and you end up chained to a small part of the stage having to do the same kind of fight with him, which is significantly harder, especially if you didn't happen to grab, like, a lot of food on your way. And I think that's just cle I think that's just a really clever thing, and I'm sad that it wasn't imitated in any other games. Especially not Dead Rising 4. And... We were starting to get to the end of the slipstream of DeviantArt because Dead Rising, you know, hasn't been a super popular thing to drop out in recent years, especially not since the latest installment was Dead Rising 4, which wasn't very popular. So we're going to end off this FanWorks Friday staring at this beautiful, lovely piece of artwork by Ten Nazi. And of course, it features Lust, the psychopath from Dead Rising 3 who seems to have captured Nick and is getting ready to do all sorts of manner of things and stuff to him. So, I'll pose you with this question. What do you think that lust is going to do with our boy Nick here? Put down what you think is going to happen in the comments below, but don't try to be too graphic about it. Not that I'll really do anything one way or the other if you are, but just out of respect for me. You hear? I I do like it. I like how I like how drawn it looks. It kind of like adds to the emotion and the depth of the situation at hand. It kind of makes it look more desperate cuz it looks like it was sketched together quickly and it kind of like amplifies the intensity of the situation. But that's just what I got going on. So, until next time everybody, remember 
Every video is a party. And you're all invited to the next one. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank mm-hmm. you.